right, it's the start of December 2020. <clears throat> and I'm a little bit crackly because it's I'm recording this out of order post-Christmas. <clears throat> anyway, I've done a lot of talking. Now, rather than clickbait you guys, um, I'm going to get straight to the biggest delivery we've ever had. Now, a lot of you guys would recall the Argo video and go, that was the biggest delivery you ever had. Well, this gives you a bit of a hint. <laughs> This costs just a smidgen more than the eight-wheeler, even though it's only got six wheels. So cost per wheel is a bit different. But this is an ex-Australian Defence Force ambulance. Um, history still pending. I have found the ARN for it. But anyway, we had to drive this all the way back. Now, I will probably try and stick some links in the description. If I forget, guys, though, go back over my recent videos. You'll find the one where I said I spent $25,000 on my wife and didn't tell her. That's a whole two-part episode on its own. But this is mostly outfitted. It's messy in the back because we're still working on it at the moment. We did impromptu camp over Christmas, so we threw a couple of mattresses in the back. There's still a bunch of tools in here, but we're working on it. We've got just recently had it roadworthied, um, pending all the paperwork to go with that. The 24-volt system works, which you'll see the batteries arriving later in this video. Um, and there's a bit of tactical tinsel for the Christmas spirit. So yes, this is going to be project unto itself, of course. Um, but there'll be more coming for that. Anyway, let's move on to the next delivery. All right, another delivery has arrived. This one's something I'm going to modify. If I can get the thing out of the box. I've had lots of these over the years. This is a little 12 volt fan. Um, nothing real fancy. It's a 12 volt oscillating fan with a clip that's going to go into my Rover. Um, my Land Rover, that is. In this little switch box, I'm going to put a speed controller in so I can control its speed, obviously, and also its power use. Um, I wonder if we can plug this in to demo it. We probably can. So a quick little uh, update on that fan, it pulls um, 300 milliamps on low and about 500 on high. Now that is at 13.9 volts, so at 12 volts it would probably be a little less. Just my, the sun's up and my solar system's charging. Great way to use some excess current that we're not going to otherwise use. Anyway, let's move on. We're in the field for this delivery. We've got a bunch of new stuff arrived. Got a universal washer motor. Um, we have some battery terminals, some different style battery terminals, radiator caps, two of, a dry chem fire extinguisher. We have a first aid kit. Um, and we've got airline. Some more deliveries and donations have arrived. First delivery rolling along here is some windscreen concentrate. I wasted the last lot. Degreaser, as you might imagine, is a pretty staple thing in a vehicle this greasy and oily. Um, we're in the back of the ambulance again. My voice sounds a bit funny, by the way, because um, I've just spent like three days in these vehicles yelling over the radio and over the engine noise. So my throat's a little bit worse for wear. Anyway, um, we have some Toolpro Imperial Hex keys. These are necessary because I'm doing roadworthy repairs and the PTO shaft for the winch uses Imperial um, things, Imperial Allen keys. Or hex sockets. Got some hose clamps. These were donated along with this thing. Now, one of the roadworthy items in here is a slip shaft seal boot, which just really aren't a thing. So I've got a power steering boot that I reckon will probably fit over the slip shaft or the rear tail shaft. So I'll see if we can get that on at some point. All right, there is a whole bunch more stuff, but I've got to go and find it. 
found the other stuff. We had some donations of multi wipes. They're always handy in here. Um, and a donation of painters. What are they? Uh, clean up rags. These are the white cotton fabric rags that I use for pretty well everything. Um, very handy donation. Got uh, the obligatory WD. That's got to go in everything. Now, um, we got these are things we uh, deliveries. I have a 27mm impact socket from King Chrome, which fits the wheel nut sizes on the ambulance. And a breaker bar. This should hopefully do us until we can get a proper wheel brace. I need to check. Actually, you know what? Give us a minute to check if that fits the wheel nuts. Yep, I just checked. The Ambo has the same size wheel nuts as the 4x4. A little bit worried there for a moment. And because this didn't come with a jack, 6x6 ambulance didn't come with a jack, we got ourselves a 4 ton hydraulic jack. Now this vehicle weighs about 4.5 ton in its present state. And that looks bent. I wonder if that's meant to be that way. Um, so we're not going to be lifting the entire vehicle on this, just one axle. Um, it just affords us the ability to change a tyre. So this looks like that's flat to lock that bit. Yep. Okay, that's good. And these handles, I guess, slot together like that. I'm not sure what these little rubber things are for, unless that's to, uh... Oh, it's for storage. I see. I see, said the blind man. And this one has some... Let's change the camera angle. This has some ability to raise and lift it on the top there as well. Alright, well that can... And that can all live in the toolbox. And that means we have a jack on board, which means we can actually change a freaking tyre. Um, or maybe not, because... I need to find the actual winch hole. There's a there's a winch that holds a spare wheel in this ambulance and it takes a 27mm wheel socket. And it's designed to work with the wheel brace, which has got a particular depth. That might not, so work on that later, but we're most of the way to changing a tyre. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so another delivery has arrived. This one's a doozy, we've got to do this in the field. I have two big 135 amp hour batteries here. And these are deep cycle AGMs. Very, very good batteries. So that is gonna be the 24 volt system on the six wheel drive ambulance. And uh, we have a 100 amp 24 volt alternator coming back for that in the near future. So we have some more deliveries. Let's pop around to the other side. All right, around at the other side, and this big box of bits just showed up as well. Uh, my buddy at the local electronic shop's been helping me out. I've got some merit plugs here, um, because the system up the back here, up in this corner here, and excuse the mess, my apprentice is trying to camp out in here. That little plug right up the back there is a merit plug, and that's run off the 24 to 12 volt converter that used to run the suction pump in this system. So, if I want to plug into that, I'm making some cigarette lighter socket adapters with merit plugs. Now, there are Lucas, um, Lucas inspection lamp connectors around here, which look like these two-pin banana plugs, but their spacing is wrong. These were meant to be two-pin banana plug connectors, but uh, they might suffice until I can get something else. At least I can attach a wire to them without too much worries. Now, what else is in here? I have some Donaldson filters. Um, now these are these two are fuel filters, which is still bigger than the oil filter on my old little X Trail that I don't have anymore. Ticket Man Mix got that one, um, and some big oil filters. Now the six wheel drive, I've got a four wheel drive and a six wheel drive Parenti. The six wheel drive actually uses two oil filters, so I'm going to need to find another one. But these are the big oil filters, the P550-0422s. Um, they're the main oil filter. They're better than the Ryko ones, they cost a lot more. But, I'm doing pretty well. Oh. And I dropped my camera, but that's alright. So, oh, my apprentice had a delivery. She got a delivery from the bakery. So she's uh, currently critiquing that thoroughly. 
and it's a little uh, little shortbread cookie with jam in the middle and sprinkles on top. So yes. Anyway, as you can probably tell from the back here, we've got a lot to do, but that's a whole different episode. Um, I think we've got another delivery pertaining to this that's just showed up. So let's go open that. All right. This arrived. Now, if this is what I think it is, it made it here in two days from Sydney. So I paid about three times the shipping cost because I wanted it here before Christmas. Yeah. It's a box of bits. Um, no real invoice or anything that indicates where it's from on the box, but ah, yes, I can smell it. And it's an AYG. 7166. This is definitely a Land Rover part, but I smell rubber. All right, that's my ah. Okay, these are good. These um, these are bushes for the steering damper. So the ones in the ambulance are like completely done for. They're a little squished mush of rubber. But this is the main guy that was going to cost me a lot to get. This is the rear tail shaft bearing that holds the um the shaft in. That's good, and it's got the protector on it and everything as well. That will be good. So now I have enough pretty well to get it ready for Roadworthy. So, yeah. That will be good. That was about 100 bucks. It was a whole lot cheaper than I'd expected for something like that. But um, that is one of the Roadworthy requirements, which I think I have over here in the background. So my Roadworthy inspection. Headlight high beam working differently on each side. Right-hand side was wide backwards. Well, I fixed that. Rear left hand side lower indicator not working. Well, I fixed that. Steering damper bush perished, so that'll be those things. Um, rear disc shaft rubber boot around slip joint is missing. Well, I've got a rubber boot, it's a power steering boot, but that'll fit it. Um, the first diff brake line on the right hand side is weeping, so when I work out what they mean by first diff, I'll go and find that. Um, PTO shaft is loose, scrub screws need tightening. Well, I've done that. And the rear drive shaft center bearing rubber is excessive movement. Well, that's that thing. So, pretty well. I'm going to have to get under there, tighten up my brake line, and put these in, and I'm pretty well done. Ambulance will be roadworthy. So, let's see what else shows up. There's, uh, I might even do a special here for what I got for Christmas, rather than including it in the monthly one. But it's probably going to be a few more things to show up this month yet. Um, we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's see what else shows up. Right about now. All right, another delivery has arrived, and I don't know what this one is. I put my Leatherman in my pouch it's the wrong way up. All right, let's see what we've got here. Put this open and see what we have. Oh, actually, now I think I recall what this might be. Yep. Um, okay, so Telstra have introduced a point system, um, and they retrospectively applied it to my account. So overnight, I ended up with like 20,000 points. Um, so we've got a Blue Ant Bluetooth speaker now, a second one, which is nice. Um, this cost me about 18,000 points or something. Um, but yeah, didn't have to pay any money for it. That'd be nice. Um, yep. If I can get it out. So yeah, nifty little speaker. Apparently six watt output power. Made in China, of course, but hmm. well, I guess we'll see how it goes. That's interesting. So yeah, um, another freebie. That was yeah, that was good. So um, I'll see how that goes uh, when compared with some of my other brand name stuff. Anyway, let's move on. There's bound to be more stuff showing up. Another delivery has arrived, but first a donation. I had a donation of some cable from my local electronic shop. Um, fairly decent cable too. Um, the reason that was donated, because I just spent 300 bucks on this. And there's going to be more. Uh, <laughs> this is a Victron 24 volt charger. Um, I have the 12 volt version of this, and I've been drawing diagrams as well. And I bumped my camera, let's move that back in my haste. This is a Bluetooth connected multi mode charger that will do lead acids and even lithium ions 
and has reconditioning features and all the rest. Um, Bluetooth functioning has a mode switch. Um, it's good up to 16 amp charging at 24 volt. This is going to go in the ambulance, the six wheel drive ambulance. If you've seen my other videos, you'll probably go and hunt that one up. Um, if you haven't, probably do the same. Uh, so, anyway, yep, 24 volt DC charging, 16 amp DC. I was going to get one of Victron's um, Phoenix chargers with all in one, but I've decided I'm going to go separate inverter, separate charger, and separate um, solar charger. Aside from the fact that it it works out more expensive than the Chinese route that I was going to go, but it should be a bit more reliable without being as expensive as buying an all-in-one unit. So let's uh, see what else shows up. There will probably be more. All right, a slight interjection. My apprentice has got a delivery, and she wants to uh, tell you all about it. So go ahead, apprentice. You tell us about this new delivery or donation that you had. I had this and this and this, and I got a hair comb. A hair comb with it, yep. Mm -hmm. And I got this. Okay, what is that? Is this a Trolls World Tour thing, is it? Mm -hmm. With glitter, lip gloss, hair comb, and um, purse set, all in one go. Yes. Barely fits in frame, it's that big. Mm -hmm. Because let's unbox it and see what right. it's going to do it. You want to unbox it, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, we're not really doing too much unboxing, but... We might start a few videos with just you at some point in the future. We'll see if people can leave maybe a comment and tell us if they want to see more of my apprentice's unboxing. And we might do a few unboxing videos with her. Anyway, let's see what else we get. Well, my apprentice has jumped up and down and insisted that we show you the new donation she's just received a few minutes ago. And these are twistables. They're really, really good. And you, you can tell us a little bit about it. Well, this. this has got a lot of colours. Let's yeah. count it and unbox it. Again, we're not going to really unbox on this. We're just showing what's crossing the desk. Now let's take that one out and okay. see. Let's take them all out on my desk. I thought you might. <laughs> oh. Alright. Got a bit of that there. We've still got more. Oh, I remember these. I haven't had these since ages. These have got twistable leads in them. These are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And they, they twist like that. Mm -hmm. All right. And other colors can twist too. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can't find the camera lens. I'm trying to show you how they work. There you go. All right. Well, we're going to jump in and see what else shows up on the desk. Alright, we have another delivery, and uh, the silly season is upon us, which is what the theme of this delivery. Yeah. We have tinsel by the bucket load. I think we may have got all of this olive drab stuff as we can, and um, there's probably enough here to make a ghillie suit. But uh, there'll be some interesting stuff done with this in the next few days. We'll find out, hey? <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm sure there's more stuff going to show up. So let's see what that is. Okay, another delivery has arrived. This time it's a bit bigger. Now, I'm getting towards the end of my budget for this project. So this one has taxed my budget a little bit. But this is a Victron Pure Sine Wave Phoenix Inverter. It's a 24 volt job. So this is going to go in my ambulance, or the wife's ambulance. And this has some serious weight to it. It's a lot heavier than some of the Chinese ones I've played with in the past. It's certainly heavier. Now, this is a 500 watt inverter, but it's heavier than a two kilowatt Chinese one. So a lot of people equate weight to quality, but I think most of that weight is heat sink. But Victron stuff's very reliable. Um, what's this one say? Um, 24, 500, 24 volt, 500 watt, 230 volt. Um, so we have our supply in 
We've got our remote switch on and off, so we can hook it to a remote switch to turn that on and off, which I may make use of. So on, off, and eco mode, I will look up what that's all about. We've got a VE direct, uh, Victron, I think, interface, so you can pair these up. Um, a simple AC output on the other side. Not terribly complicated. That's all good, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to need some bus bars and stuff now, I think. That could be interesting. <laughs> I forgot to buy them, but I don't have money for them until after Christmas, so, um, yeah, this is all Bluetooth connected, apparently, um, my other two chargers, I finally got them working, so it's a little bit interesting, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Well, we have another delivery, another two deliveries, and uh, the weather has got quite hot and humid, so you'll hear the air conditioner in the background. These two came in some non-return address envelopes uh, but I was expecting these guys these are synthetic opals not terribly expensive but uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of practice so this guy here was about $12 I think after a bit of a discount um, and this guy if I can peel it off here with the tape this guy was probably about eight but it looked very interesting I think I have a light source here. I'll find my light source and we'll see how they look. Here's my light source. I'm going to give a bit of a, a nice view of the light on them. Well, that's actually a bit much for this. It looks really good in, the ca in my eyesight. I'm going to take this blue guy out at least and just have a look at him up close. Oh. It's uh, a day before my MS infusion. And uh, my dexterity is just not there. All right, here we go. Oh. Now, um, how do I do this with a camera here? Let's have a better look at this guy. Whoa, bright light. So, change our camera angle a little bit. It's really reflective, that's the back of it. Let's have a look at the front. That is a really reflective little gem there. Looks every part the real like opal and it's a really stunning um, this camera doesn't really pick it up um, but stunning little gems there for not much money. Um, I might incorporate them into a brass design in the near future although I haven't even drawn up the designs yet and I've got uh, what are we like three days to do it and tomorrow is going to be consumed entirely um, with my MS treatment so um, you may see these in the future, I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll see what else shows up. Okay, we've had some donations show up and some circuit board drills. I'm a bit shaky, I'm in the middle of doing stuff and it's post infusion, so I'm gonna be off color for a couple of days. Anyway, these have been kindly donated for a project I'm working on, along with some uh, Jeremy Fleming stuff. It's the expensive jeweler in town, although we prefer not to. We prefer to purchase elsewhere if we can. But got a couple of silver chains here. These um these will be handy for a project that I'm working on. Also, that you'll see probably on or after Christmas. We'll find out. All right. They will be good. Um. Now, yeah. got a few other things to happen, but uh, yeah, we'll see what else shows up. All right, so it's the day after Christmas, uh, also known as Boxing Day, and I'm living off ibuprofen right now. So let's go over what I got for Christmas, which wasn't much, but that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I got chocolate. In fact, in fact, I've got a couple of blocks of that, which are probably some of my favourites. <clears throat> I got more chocolates, which are also really nice. I like these things. <clears throat> I got this thing, which is now no longer in the packet. <clears throat> and excuse me, my throat is sore after all the talking I've done. Um, these things are really nice. I've actually already opened this one, and uh, I'm going to enjoy that whilst we talk. These are really nice. These things open up into little 
orange slices and they're actually really nice. Mm. All right. I got some Aussie Dollary Doos. Several Aussie Dollary, Do Dollary Doos. I got a card. I got something more relevant to this channel. Hold up a moment. Yeah, also, not relevant to this channel, I got a couple of black t shirts. Ideal Rivers brand ones. My favourites, I wear them pretty much every day. Um, so, the relevant thing to the channel I got was this. Now, I was planning on getting a Victron, but being as this landed on my lap, I think I'm going to use the PowerTech one. This is a 12 or 24 volt MPPT um, solar charger with Wi Fi that is also accommodates some. Um, sealed lead acid or lithium or um, AGM batteries, such as the ones in the ambulance. Um, and it comes with a temperature sensor for AGM, which is nice. Oh, actually, I got a bus bar as well. I'll probably get a couple of them, I'm guessing. Take this box out of the way. All right. <coughs> this guy is heavy. Apparently this has Wi-Fi too. Now, I had a brief read of the manual yesterday, and apparently these are good up to about 3.5 amp on these ports, so that's nice. There's a decent regulator in there, unlike some of these that only have half an amp. It's unlikely that I'll use them, but I could end up using that to power a Raspberry Pi. Alright, this chocolate is actually really addictive. Alright, so this thing has a mystery Ethernet port on here. The manual tells me that's for a remote control board. Given that this has Wi-Fi, I'm willing to suspect that that might actually interface with Ethernet, um, although I am going to do some homework before plugging an Ethernet board into that. We have some specs here for those of you who are interested. And um, I'm planning on, I think this is good up to 80 volts input, so I think I'm going to be using my two um, 31 volt panels in series. And uh, they're good for about 290 watts, so good for about uh, a bit over 9 amps each. So hopefully that should translate into some good stuff. We've got a little insulating cover here that nicely doesn't obstruct the indicators as to what should be connected to where when you've got the lid up. That's nice. All right. Um, it's not likely that much else is going to show up, although... Australian Boxing Day is a bit like American Black Friday, so there might be some more stuff show up this afternoon. Otherwise, I'll be doing the outro video probably later today. Anyway, let's see what else shows up. Well, we have another couple of deliveries arrived. These guys are another bit for the ambulance. And they are huge. Much more huge than I thought they would be. But for the nerdy among you, here is the specs, the 31.8 volt max, 9 amp, and uh, 290 watt, give or take 2.5%. These should go well in a series string uh, on the ambulance to help me get the 24 volt charging. These uh, were from my local JCAR store, he always looks after me, so I'm very happy with these. Alright, let's see what else shows up. All right, uh, final delivery for the year. A 28 volt, 100 amp DC alternator. And that is uh, complete with brackets and mil spec plug and some huge cable. So that is gonna be for the other donation or delivery rather, that thing. So yeah, it'll get my 24 volt system charging off the engine as well when I need it with double pulleys no less. That thing is humongous, it weighs a lot. Um, I'd say about 15 kilo picking it up. Anyway, we're gonna call this quits for donations and deliveries. It has been the biggest deliveries and donations ever. Um, probably not even second only to the Argo, which has been filled up full of junk until I cleaned it out after Christmas. This was the biggest delivery prior to this. This is now the biggest delivery. So, well, um, <laughs> yeah, it's been an interesting Christmas and a December and a COVID year, but it's the end of 2021 or 2020, sorry, 
I'm looking forward to 2021 and hopefully this pandemic stuff slows down a bit. We're in Australia and it's doing reasonably well, but you know, it's going to be with us for a while and international travel is going to be complicated. But uh, at least we can sort of travel within our borders and we can set up and socially isolate a little bit more now. So, uh, and hopefully I can make the best use of life whilst MS is not destroying my body and brain too rapidly. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I know these long videos aren't as popular, but some people will enjoy them. This channel's not out here to be popular. It's out here to basically keep a record of my goings-on for family members. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next one.